The Raised Forge One. This is how we can produce sintered metal parts through FDM. Now Raised are looking at this as a full solution, so you can have debinding into an in-house, but at the moment we're just looking at the Forge One. What that does is that allows us to unlock applications with materials made by BASF, and that's the 316L and the 174 stainless steel. What that also does is it couples quite nicely with the ceramic material, so it allows us to use supports. So once it goes through that debinding and sintering process, it means we can produce metal parts in quirky different geometries and are also at some really low costs. Let's have a look at the technology, the materials, and different applications that we can produce through this system. So our raised 3D Forge One uses 174 pH and 316 stainless steel metal fused material. Now, the material is top loading, so it's on top of the 3D printer, going down into the direct drive unit, which is better for 3D printing. Now, once the parts are 3D printed, they get debound and sintered, which then brings you back to your metal part. Now, the main benefit of using metal 3D printing is it allows us to create geometries out of metal that weren't possible before. Parts that we just couldn't CNC or manufacture in other methods can now be created, and this unlocks brand new applications that have never been made before in metal 3D printing. The Raised Forge One can now make end use parts out of metal, which unlocks massive applications for you guys, also decreasing your cost and lead times straight to your final application with metal 3D printing. So there you have it, that's the Raised Forge One. The different metals means you can do a lot of different things with the system. If you want to know more about this and we can look at some different applications for you, reach out to the 3D team at 3dgbre.com.